year. Now out of those two billion cups a year, an average of 6% is only recycled. So that's one big thing that we need to think about. The other thing we need to think about is currently, since the trends of the paper cup arrived, in two years' time, we will bury 270,000 tonnes of paper cups. And that's a fact. Mm -hmm. So, Annette, I totally agree. We need to be pushing your Somerset Council to recycle. As you are well aware, me and Nick are trying to get some cup bins, which hopefully we can use that as an excuse as well. You've got no excuse, North Somerset Council, because they're now separated, so can you recycle them? And also know that we've got a crunch coming in. And that's the honest truth. And that's what I hope is going to happen. Anyway, on the second account, um, the late grounds. Now, Annette, you know I'm very, very passionate about the late grounds and the state that it is in. And believe me, it is in a big state. Just to give an example, the lovely marshland that everyone likes to walk on is decaying very, very quickly. And if you get a photo from just two or three years ago and compare it with a photo now, you'll see that it's moved quite a bit. But that's just one part of the late grounds that is in danger. Because what that does is pretend, sorry, acts as a buffer for the sea. So if that's gone, that will hit the wall. Now the wall, if anyone actually inspects it at the moment, is already decaying. The cement sills that are in between the bricks are coming apart. That's another point that we need to think about. So then we go on to the lake itself and the surrounding area. So we have grills that were only just put in recently around one side of the lake. Sadly, these do nothing for the lake because what they're supposed to do is allow the water to come off the field, that's the cricket field, and pour into the lake. But sadly, because there was no barrier between the grill and the, and the bank of the field, the mud just goes in the grill, which means it blocks up any access for the water to go into the lake. Bit weird, that one. But then we go to simple things like the bench. So all the benches along the seafront really need a paint job and a sanding down. Now, I spoke to Paul the other day, and hopefully North Somerset will kindly give me some paint and some varnish, and I'll get a few community people to go down and do it ourselves, rather than wait forever and a day for it to be done. Again, it's just a small little thing. And there's so many other things, like Annette mentioned, the dirty great big holes in the road, which is a massive project, because otherwise, if um, what North Somerset will probably do is do what they did last time, which was just put a load of gravel over it and hope that the cars push it down. So, on to Lake itself, give you another example the um, life saving rings, if you actually go and look at them, the stands that they're holding them up are falling apart. And the, the bars themselves, that are the, the, the little long bars that hold the boxes up, that hold the ring, they're rusted to, um, well, I can't say the word, it begins with F. Uh, so that's another point. Um, the 250, 300,000 pounds that uh, North Somerset have promised us won't go very far, I can assure you. The playground itself, just to do that, would be around £50,000. Then by the time you fill in the potholes along the roads, that's Lake Road, Esplanade Road, um, that's going to take up another massive chunk of that £250,000-£300,000. When I um, looked at this two years ago, or nearly two years ago, I estimate it would be 1.2 million pound just to put the lake grounds right. And that's things like emptying the lake, nothing, knocking down the boat hut, which everyone knows is literally falling apart. And the funny thing is that the skate park will go right next to it. So they're gonna to have to take that boat hut down because it will be a health and safety issue. So how much is that money gonna go? Not very far. But this is me being honest, this is not being a councillor, because I can take this off right now. Because it's nothing to do with being a councillor, it's about telling the people as it is. And that's sort of 
person that I am. Thank you very much. Well said. Thank you. 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 Thank you.